The first thing is, is your ultimate uh, lifestyle. You have to decide that first. What do you actually want to do with your time? Because, yeah, uh, you'd mentioned it earlier. You're busy working 8, 10 hours a day, and now all of a sudden, you're not going to have work to go to. What are you going to do with that time? So you need to decide, what do you want to do? Where do you want to go? What do you want to do with your life at that point in time? Are you going to move to a different area? How are you going to live? Are you going to live a lavish lifestyle? Um, financial planners, again, in quotes, uh, they tell you, well, if you have 80% of your, your, your pre-retirement income, you'll be fine. Well, we just showed you nobody has any income to begin with. Yeah. Okay. And if you have 80% of your income, you're still not fine because now you've shifted your expenses from right. suits and travel to work to retirement and healthcare because right. Well, what if you now can't you need 110 percent of your income and you only got 80? I mean, there's a big gap. There's regardless. a big gap. Yeah. So you need to decide what you want for your lifestyle, and you need to discuss that with your spouse. And the critical thing is, if you don't write it down on paper and look at it, it doesn't exist. I don't care what you have in your mind. If it's not on paper, it doesn't exist. So it has to be on paper first.